Hello, and welcome to another Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, a Cheeky Scientist. Today's question comes from Byron Renor. Byron says, what's the most important thing to do on LinkedIn? Great question, Byron. And I had selected this question because this week we have a very special LinkedIn webinar on Thursday. It's Thursday, January 16th at 1 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to go over everything you need to know about LinkedIn to get hired in 2020. As far as the most important thing, I would say the most important thing is seeing your LinkedIn profile the way that your audience would see it, your audience being hiring managers and recruiters. And in order to get into their, their state of mind, you have to go to LinkedIn Recruiter and see what the interface looks like. If you go to LinkedIn Recruiter, you'll see that there's just three search terms, three search fields, I should say, at the top of LinkedIn Recruiter. Now, again, this is the special LinkedIn that's for employers. The top three search fields are skills, job titles, and locations. That's what you need to focus on in terms of the keywords to put on your LinkedIn profile. Skills, both technical and transferable, as well as the job titles, they're going to search the job title. If you don't have the job title of the job you want to get into or the jobs that you're interested in on your LinkedIn profile, you're not going to show up in the search results. And then finally, location. A lot of people ignore location. Put the locations you want to work in, at least the top two or three cities. If you're willing to relocate, put you're willing to relocate. And when it comes to your skills, you hear me talk about this a lot. Don't just focus on your technical skills. Focus on the larger, more transferable skills that hiring managers and recruiters who don't have PhDs look for, that they actually understand. Your, abil your ability to collect information and data to do research to analyze that same information and data. That's analysis. To learn quickly, information processing, time management, project management. Include these things on your LinkedIn profile. If you don't know which skills are important, look at different job postings. And then, and then try to get into the mindset of an employer. Go to other people's LinkedIn profiles, skim them for 10 seconds, because that's the average time an employer spends on, on a LinkedIn profile and then write down everything that you can remember about that other person's profile. You won't be able to remember very much at all. This will open your eyes to how others are reading your profile. They're skimming quickly. They're looking for things to jump out. They don't want big blocks, big para paragraph blocks. They don't wanna hear about your experience and what you've done in the past. They need to see the exact words they're looking for and they need to be able to take in the information quickly. They need to be able to skim it. They need to see things with bullet points. They need to see links and images. They need to be able to scroll through it and very quickly in 10 seconds, see the story, see the narrative, see where you want to head in the future. Don't make it complicated for them. They're not going to dig in. They're not PhDs, most of them. They're not going to dig into the text and really try to figure out everything that you've done or what the meaning is, what the significance is. They're not going to piece things together. They want to understand your story immediately, just like that. So the only way to understand uh, how they're going to see your profile is to get into their mindset, read other people's profiles, time yourself for 10 seconds, write down what you can remember, and start to see how an employer would be looking at multiple profiles. Many of them will go through 50, 60, 70 profiles in a single day. That's how you should be approaching your LinkedIn profile. That's how you should be building your LinkedIn profile from the viewpoint of employers. That's the one thing I would do is get into the mindset of your audience and build your profile according to that mindset, not according to just what's important to you and everything that you know. You have the curse of knowledge. You think because you put a few words down on your LinkedIn profile or you made some bullet points or you spent a few minutes on it that they'll just figure it out. They're not in your head. They haven't had your experiences. They don't know anything at all about you they need to understand your story and exactly how it relates very quickly to the job they're fi to trying to fulfill as soon as possible, as easily as possible, just by skimming your profile. Hopefully this helps you. Do that practice. Go to different profiles. Skim other people's profiles. Time yourself for 10 seconds. Write down what you can remember. It'll really open your eyes. And remember to focus on those three things that they're searching. Skills, job titles, and locations. Even if you haven't worked in industry, you can find a way to put certain skills, find ways to put job titles on your profile by using words like relevant. I have XYZ skills, which are relevant to ABC skills that are on the job postings that employers are, are posting and the, and the skills that they're looking for. 
so that even if you don't have those exact skills, you can still mention them on your profile. Again, the same is true for job titles and locations. Hopefully this helps you, Byron. As always, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.